Thank you very much. Um, my name is Philippe Jopard. I am a senior advisor for international relations for the European Organization for the Safety of Air Navigation. Um, I, it's an honor to be speaking after His Excellency. Um, I want you to understand that I am here in a um, private capacity as a friend of Ukraine. Um, and I would like to tell you a little story of uh, that friendship. Um, it is a long friendship. Um, I heard about the candidacy of Ukraine to the EU. Most of you do not know this, but Ukraine is already a member of an international organization, Eurocontrol, the one I work with, since 2001. But I started to work and to know Ukraine in 2012, when your country organized the Eurocup together with Poland. There was no question of war, there was no question of tensions. We went there as simple technicians and advisors. We met with great people, with great technicians, and Ukraine implemented European solutions that raised Ukraine to a level never known before in aviation. Sadly, in 2014, so two years after, was the first invasion uh, of your country. I was put in charge of organizing a program of reorganizing all the air traffic control centers that were taken from Crimea and moved them somewhere else. It was a period of tension. We did this together with the European Union and a number of other organizations, and which is, by the way, the time that I had the chance to meet somebody I consider as a friend today, who is sitting there, Dimitro. Thank you very much for that. But back in 2014, we put together this program, which was then put in place by Ukraine, raising Ukraine even more on the international scene of aviation, despite the loss of the Crimea. Um, life went on, um, and in 2022, sadly, the second invasion of your country took place. I was then also the president of the Rotary Club of Brussels North, and on the day of the invasion, we were supposed to have a delegation from the permanent representation of Ukraine to speak a little bit about your country. There was no question of war when you organized this. But then I received as the president of the club a phone call that cancelled the venue of the Ukrainian uh, guests. From that point in time, the word friendship started to take a whole new meaning for me. And we put a number of things in place to support and to help people who wanted to go out of Ukraine to have a new life somewhere else. I will not name any, any names, but some of them are working in my staff today at Eurocontrol. I wanted you to understand this by explaining this little story, to know why I'm standing here today, why I came here today at the invitation of Mitro, and why I will be here uh, as a private citizen, as a friend of Ukraine. Um, I will be there tomorrow, and I will be there the day after tomorrow. And the day Ukraine joins the European Union, I will be probably extremely happy. Thank you for being there. I want to pay my respect to the veterans. And I want to add one thing, maybe the only thing that I can say in your language, Slava Ukraina.